Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Monday, May 30th. Happy Memorial Day to you and your family. I hope and pray that you've been able to rest and relax on this unofficial start to the summer. However, the importance of this day, as probably all of you know, is not linked to the beginning of summer, but this day's importance comes from it being a national holiday where we honor and pray for the members of the military who have lost their lives in service to our country, which is estimated to be about a million people since the start of our country. In recent surveys, it found that about 30% of Americans knew about the true meaning of this national holiday. And though some of us may be shocked by these results, we know that many people do not want to think about death and many people, to be truthful, are so busy that Memorial Day is just an opportunity to get some things done on the to-do list, to catch up with people we have not seen in a long time, and to relax from the ending of a school year. So this holiday comes and goes without people truly taking in what it's supposed to mean. But as Catholics, praying for the dead honoring the dead is one of the spiritual works of mercy so it's my hope that we don't avoid thinking about death but always take opportunities to pray for our beloved dead and to hold them in prayer and again we do this especially today for all those who have given their lives in defense of our country but i also think we need to take some time today to pray for the families of those military members who have lost their lives. We all know from personal experience that the death of a loved one is always hard. But the families of those who lost a service member, Memorial Days are especially heavy. Because all of these families think about each other, their hardships and difficulties that they have collectively gone through, and today can be a very heavy day. So if you have time, Please remember the living members of military families so God's grace can work to continue to heal them from the loss of their loved ones to war. Two sentences from today's gospel passage point to how we can heal from the loss of a loved one. And they come from the daily mass gospel from the 16th chapter of John. They read, I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. In Christ in these two verses points to the reality of his death and resurrection. As he's speaking to his disciples in that moment, he was foreshadowing what he would be able to do through his salvific work. But also, brothers and sisters, it points to the reality that no matter what we go through in this world, we will have trouble. Sin, death, struggles, these realities fill our lives. And for some families, unfortunately, including military families, there is more trouble and strife than maybe some of our own. But again, Christ has conquered the world. He has won the victory. So whether you are a member of the military or a person who is truly sick and tired of sin and struggle that fills the world, or someone who is mourning the loss of a loved one and do not see a way on how to move forward, Please know and set in your hearts that the victory of Jesus Christ has already happened. And this is what we have to cling to as we navigate this world, especially on this Memorial Day. Tragedy is swallowed up in victory. And I also know in my role as a Catholic priest that Christ can truly bring peace to people's lives. And I know that sometimes people 
lose hope in that reality because of the struggles that fill their lives. But peace does come if we allow ourselves to be loved by God and to allow his grace and mercy flow into the parts of our lives that need healing. Healing and peace can come. And I know many people believe it doesn't come fast enough. And I hear you um, because I've seen people witness people be patient in healing. But it can happen. And it does happen. So as we conclude, there's a lot to pray for this day. Pray for those who have lost their lives in service of our country, their family members who are seeking peace. But may for ourselves, who look out into the world and see so many difficulties and struggles. But again, we remember that Christ has conquered the world and that his peace is possible in all of our lives if we open up our hearts and allow his grace and mercy again to enter all those parts of our lives that only he can heal. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Mm-hmm.